Hey YouTube, this is Vic from VLAN Exotics and today I'm making a show about Red Runners. One of the best foods you could get for your reptiles. Just for the fact that they breed very fast. They breed faster than any insect in the reptile industry known. From what I'm aware of. And from my experience as well. These are all nymphs right now. These guys are probably about a few weeks to a month old. And I probably have several thousands in here. In each container. I sold most of my adults. These guys are a little younger. Has tons, tons, tons. It's crazy. I have so many. They don't stop reproducing. So you see, I have my water crystals over here. I have to put more. Some cat food they like to munch on. This thing is filled. All in one. It's crazy how many I have. So I sold mostly all my adults. Only have a few more left. These little guys in here. But I really don't have to worry about producing more because I have a crap load of eggs in here. This thing's about two inches deep. As you see, I have more cat food, some dry bread, some babies that were just born. And that's not all. Cleaning out the tub, these are all the babies I have. This is me having too many. Not even sure how I'm gonna set this up. It's like rainy red runners. Look at that. This thing is nuts. I know I have to have over 500,000 in here. Maybe way over a million as well. There you go. Everywhere you look, there's red runners. Several sheets here too, and all of them have tons and tons and tons and tons of red runners, as you can see. Does not stop. So there you go. Um, I actually purchased these red runners probably about in October, and. I only purchased about 50 from the White Plains Reptile Show. And there's only one vendor there that had them. And those are the last ones. So I decided to purchase those. And I raised up all the babies that they produce. Let them breed. And this is why I have. And I actually never have to buy crickets ever again. Because I've been feeding my bearded dragon, my amphibians, my green basilis, geckos. Feeding all my reptiles. And it's like... I feed tons of them out and I just keep getting more and more and more red runners. So I probably sold about a few thousands already in the past week. But I don't need that many adults because I have too many babies already. I'll see how I set this up.
It's like kind of being like a beekeeper. Just have the slots. I just have a few more in here, I'll just empty them out. And again, I have like two inches deep of eight casings there. So you don't have to worry much about losing out. I have too many already. This is something else I'll, I like to do sometimes too. I'll grab a ceramic dish and place some red runners in there. Therefore, the red runners can't come out. And the frogs just hop inside the bowl and eat whatever they can. Therefore, you won't have to have red runners hiding everywhere and the frogs can't get to them sometimes. Because I made that mistake before. I had a few red runners in the back of my own waterfall. But this way, it's been working quite well. These guys just hop right in and start munching down on them. I don't have any issues. Just a little technique. I figured that would work. I did that with my bearded dragon as well and it works really well. Cause they just like to hide and I like to make sure my guy eat all, eats all his food. But anyways, that's all I wanna show you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Please subscribe. Bye.